Hey guys, it's Aria. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Temu haul. I um, got a like a pretty good amount of stuff for my daughter's upcoming birthday. I do have two daughters. Um, my youngest daughter, Daylin, had a Rapunzel themed party this year, so I didn't have to buy like anything because I was literally able to fully decorate for her party just based on things I own. But my older daughter, Kala, has decided to do a little bit more of an older birthday party this year, which is Taylor Swift. So what I'm gonna be showing you guys is just a couple of decor things, um, the goodie bags that I'm gonna be giving to her friends, and then also some clothing items and a couple other like small things. Um, but all of this stuff is from Temu. I will try to do prices based off of like my memory. But again, if you guys have ever shopped on Temu, it is like the prices change constantly. So if you get on and it's more or less, hopefully, then like, Sorry for not being accurate. <laughs> also, I'm gonna take my ears off because they're bothering me right now and I, I'm so hot. It's so hot in Texas. Let's start with clothing. So I did buy um, a little outfit for Kala and me because I'm extra. Okay, so for Kala, she actually picked this out but it's a little like plaid pleated skirt. It is so cute and it's got elastic in the back which I really appreciate because it's gonna be comfortable. Cause a lot of the time these plaid skirts, they're like a zipper or buttons and it's like no, no room for growth. <laughs> um, it is a skort style and this was only $7. So this is about the same price as something that you'd buy at Walmart and it's it's pretty high quality. Like the fabric is nice and thick. I love the plaid of like a really pale pink, purple and white. And then this is going to be paired with her birthday shirt, which was only $4. And it is this black t-shirt that says, it's me, hi, I'm the birthday girl, it's me. Does it fit with the music? No. Was it clever? Yes. So <laughs> this is what it looks like up close. The print on it is pretty nice. I love the vibrant purple, blue, pink combo along with like the little butterflies and disco balls. Um, the one thing I will tell you guys is this is one of those prints where you can like feel it. I don't know if that makes sense, but like this is embroidered. So that's a bad example. But like this shirt is like plasticky feeling which usually means cheaper. And so like that probably means that a couple of washes are gonna do this one in, but that's okay because it's a birthday shirt. So like, I don't know how often she's gonna be reaching for it anyway. Um, but that with this little skirt, I thought was a pretty cute combo. Um, and then for me, I just thought this was so cute and I will totally wear this to work because I'm a teacher and my dress code set by myself, not my school is like t-shirts like this that have like a cute design of like Disney or something like that and then a skirt. That is like what I wear pretty much every day. And this is perfect for that. So it's this little stack of books and same thing. I don't know if you can hear it, listen. <laughs> you hear how plasticky it sounds? Okay, anyway, so it's like this uh, like really like a nice beige color and then it's all these little books but they're the titles of her albums which I thought was so freaking cute. So we have Oh my gosh, can I read this backwards and upside down? So we have Speak Now, Evermore, Midnight, Folklore, Lover, Fearless 1989, Reputation, Red, and then I love this one right here because it actually says TS, like Taylor Swift. Um, and then all of the books have these flowers coming out of them. I just think this is so cute and like I'll wear a skirt with it like this. I, I just, I do, I think it's really, really cute. I will definitely wear it more than just a Cala's birthday party. Um, and then with it, I got myself this tool <laughs> maxi skirt. It is so pretty. Okay, I gotta stand back up, hang on. So like the bottom of it has these ruffles. It's so pretty. It's like perfect for a Cinderella Disney bound, maybe even like a Tiana blue dress Disney bound, but oh, you like how that's where my brain goes immediately. Anyway, it is an elastic waistband. The skirt was the most expensive thing I bought and it was $16, but usually what I do, <laughs> Cause I don't know if you guys know this, basically everything on Temu is on Amazon. It's just like quadruple the price on Amazon because instead of waiting like almost two weeks for shipping, you get it like, you know, two days later. Um, so I checked this skirt on Amazon and it was like $45. So I was like, 15 it is, <laughs> or 16, what did I say? It was 15 or 16, I honestly is around there. Okay, so that is all the clothes I bought. Now I'm gonna get into more of like the party decor stuff. Okay, so the first thing I got came in this bag. And they are these little plastic like balls that you see in like a ball pit. But I got these because I'm sure you guys have seen it on TikTok or Instagram, but like people have been taking these and like 
taking like a really big needle and essentially poking string through them to make like giant friendship bracelets. And I thought that that was so incredibly cute. I did want to show you guys how I did this because if you just kind of poke this upholstery needle through the ball, you can deflate it. So you can like literally squish the ball and like ruin it. So you want to make sure that when you are poking it through the ball that you're uh, first stringing your fishing line through. I'm using like stretchy jewelry wire fishing line. It worked fantastic. And then when I go to poke the needle through, I'm twisting it. So I'm like poking it like a pencil and then twisting it through the ball. And that really did help not to deflate or deform the balls. Um, and I got better at it as I went, but that was definitely a tip that I found useful was just like twist it all the way through and then make sure your fishing line is through before you pull the needle all the way through the ball. So that's how I'm actually going to make Cal's happy birthday sign. Okay, so these are the three colors that it came with, which is literally perfect for like Cal's color scheme for her birthday. And the pack was a pack of 50 and I think it was $3. So that was great. <laughs> so I'm going to string these together and make like beaded giant friendship bracelets. And then I'm going to be using one sec. These, which are these foam discs. Hang on, let me take one out. These to look like the little like um like letter beads i hope you guys know what i'm talking about but like in a friendship bracelet you have the round bead and then you have the little part with the letter on it so i'm gonna use these to spell out like happy birthday so i'll do like happy on one and then birthday on the other and then i'll have these next to them so that it looks like these giant friendship bracelets also i just decided in this moment that i will wait to post this until after cal's birthday so i can just insert clips when these things are done this is what it looked like after I had made half of the strand and then I went in to add on the styrofoam circle, which was also super, super easy. I was just really gentle with the needle and just kind of tried to keep it straight. That's probably the thing you need to pay attention to the most is just make sure that you're not going through the styrofoam at an angle um, because you might come through in the wrong spot. So um, really easy, like definitely this is a DIY anyone can do. Um, and I will link this upholstery needle for you guys if you're wanting to recreate these. And then this is what they looked like all strung up. The letters on mine, I actually used Dollar Tree poster letters. They were super cheap and they worked fantastic. Okay, next with decor is a balloon arch. And I will definitely be inserting a clip of this because I show you this bag and that means nothing, okay? So this balloon arch was $6.50, something like that. And um, that's way cheaper than on Amazon. My only concern is like looking at this right now, looking at the size of this bag and how many balloons are in it, I'm not convinced that this is the size of balloon arch that they have in the picture. So I will show you guys the picture and then I also will insert a clip of what it turned out like, but regardless of how big it turns out, I probably will be able to work with it as far as decor goes. Um, I always pretty much decorate just this one spot in my house. It's like this little, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a serving countertop kind of. Um, that's usually where I decorate because it's, it always looks really nice and it makes a tour. Like when you walk into my house, you can tell there's a party going on. So I've got the balloon arch. If it doesn't work in that area, I also contemplated setting up like a little photo area for my daughter and her friends because it's going to be a pretty small birthday party. Like only like six or seven girls are coming. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to have like a little station where they could take pictures. I'm not totally sure that I will get another Temu uh, balloon arch because the balloons deflated really, really, really quickly. This is the day after. So I made them the day before the party and literally the day of the party, they were already deflating. Um, and then also the issue that I was having was that came with way too many teeny balloons. So I started making the balloon arch and I've made several in my lifetime. And this side came out really good. But then on this side, you guys can see I was left with way too many small ones. And I just have kind of like bald spots because I really did need a couple more large balloons. In addition to that pack of balloons, I also got these, which are little disco ball balloons. This is what they look like all packaged up. They even have like sparkle designs on them and they are foil balloons. Um, and this one I believe is a pack of, I want to say six, but it might've been four, six. It is six. Okay. Okay, so this is what they look like not blown up, and then they blow up to be like 3D. They're probably going to look a little bit more square than circular, but I'm going to put them in the balloon arch, so I think that they'll any like imperfections will kind of be masked by that. And you get six of them, and these were only $2. Next, this was probably <laughs> not worth it. It was like $3. It's this little like statue. It came in a bunch of colors, but I liked this like stone look, and it's like the little, you're making like a little heart with your hands. I think that's really, really cute. Um, and also I partially bought this because 
I had a couple thoughts for it. I thought maybe it could be the cake topper on Calla's cake. Obviously I'll wash it first. Um, or it can just be decor like on the countertop. But I also thought that Calla would really like this in her room after her party. And I'm a big, big fan of like buying things that you're not just gonna throw away. Like the balloon art just kind of kill me sometimes because I'm going to put so much effort into making it <laughs> and then I'm going to pop it and throw it away. And I honestly hate that feeling. Um, but <laughs> unfortunately, they look really great. So um, this is not like that. Like I really do love that this is something that she can put in her room after her party. Okay, next is actually a birth ca birthday card for Kala. And this was only a dollar. And it says, happy birthday. Oh, Temu has great cards. Like great, great, great birthday cards. They're so funny. I've actually bought a couple of them. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's got the little disco ball and it's got her in a bunch of her different eras outfits. I think that's so cute. I love that the card is, or the envelope is red. Um, and then it is a blank card. So you get to write your own message, which is perfect because that's what I do every year. Um, but yeah, it's just like a simple birthday card, but I do think it's really fun that it's themed to the same theme as her birthday. Because it has nothing to do with Cal's birthday. But if you guys have been on Temu, <laughs> they often do like, roulette wheels and stuff like that and you click them and they're like oh you get an extra 90 percent off but you have to pick something in the next 30 seconds like do, I, my brain doesn't do well with that stuff if i'm being honest i probably could have gotten even more stuff for cheaper if i was good at it but i like get overwhelmed <laughs> with like pick three things now like i'm just not good at it but this was one time where i was so i, I did two orders this was on one of the orders where i got like 90 percent off so these were under a dollar and it's pens and they are pens themed to your astrology sign, which is, <laughs> so I'm an Aries and you get these um, like five pens, two blue, two white and one pink. And they say different things based on your like astrology sign. And most of the time I don't, I like 50, 50 kind of agree with my astrology sign. Okay. But this was, one <laughs> I agreed with like all of them. So I'm going to like freeze frame it here so that it, you can read them. The first one says, I'm not competitive, I just win at everything. By the way, me and my husband are both Aries, so you can imagine that in our household. Uh, it can be hard never being wrong, but I manage. I'm also a teacher, again guys, these are just fun. Uh, feelings are a big no for me, thanks. Impulsive decisions are the best decisions. <laughs> As I said, I get like anxiety from like, Pick. that's different though I mean like there are times where I'm just like yeah I'm just gonna get these pens because they're great anyway moving on last one I just have so many opinions I love these pens <laughs> let's test one out shall we hey it's a good pen just a little little example for you look at that <laughs> We also needed pens in our house. We, we're, we're, they're all missing. We don't have a single pen handy in our home. Two teachers, not one pen. Okay, these were also one of the things that I picked with the 90% off and these were I think a dollar, which don't judge me. They were a stupid buy for a dollar. I thought they were gonna come in so much bigger than this. It's this pack of little tiny disco balls, but oh my God, they're so tiny. <laughs> like, I feel so dumb. Um, they are beads though. So they're for like making friendship bracelets, I think, because if you look closely, I don't know, right there, you can see it. Like they have a hole in them. So I think that these are for specifically like making friendship bracelets and things like that. So I probably will save them for an activity with the girls as opposed to like trying to use them. Originally I bought them because I thought, oh, vase filler. Like I can put them in a vase and then put flowers in the vase or something like that. Like I thought, I thought it would be more. <laughs> Okay, next is just some party plates. They are little disco balls. I thought these were so cute and perfect. I'd like to only get the big ones. The little dessert ones to me are kind of like just a waste. Like I just want the big ones because everyone's gonna grab a big one naturally anyway, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, those were, these were only a couple dollars. Okay, next was another one of those things that I bought. It was like the third thing I bought with the impulse. Like pick right now. And they're these little stickers, nothing to do with Taylor Swift. That are little cows. <laughs> But look how cute they are. <laughs> oh, how do am I an adult? How? How did that happen? I have a nine-year-old. I bought myself some cow stickers. Okay, last thing of decor is this little, 
holographic kind of like ceiling hangers. Um, I'm going to insert a picture because obviously like this doesn't show you anything, but I love the holographic nature of them. They are circles and stars and I just, they give off kind of a Taylor Swift vibe to me. Along with those, I bought one thing from Dollar Tree and they are these holographic stars, which go with the things that I just showed you guys. They're just foil cutouts, so they don't have strings or anything. So I don't know how exactly I'll be using these if I'm going to like also hang these from the ceiling with fishing line and I just do it myself or if I'm gonna like lay them out but I will insert a clip so that you guys can see how I utilize them okay next is arguably like my favorite part of what I got which is the goodie bags for Cal's friends because I got this stuff for so flipping cheap and it's like quality goodie bags in my opinion so I did get eight of everything because Calla invited six friends plus Calla plus my younger daughter Dalen who obviously I'm gonna include in everything um, so I got these little zipper bags and these when I bought eight of them totaled to four dollars crazy crazy good deal um so they say the arrows tour and they have taylor swift in a bunch of different outfits i love the style of like art on here and then there's just these little zipper bags i just think that's so oh and it is printed on the other side as well so it's double sided but like these little zipper bags are so useful and then it's like i'm giving them something that they can actually use now are they guaranteed going to keep it forever and use it i don't know but i'd rather give them something that is reusable than like up another plastic bag you know what I mean okay the next thing I literally cannot believe how cheap these were these were 89 cents each I remember very clearly and they are these little heart red sunglasses they are adult size but I still think that's okay and fun and <laughs> I think they're cute I mean they feel just the same quality as the style of these that I've bought off Amazon like they're thick they fold nicely they have good tinting on them like absolutely no difference okay next are little friendship bracelets because obviously and they do come in a pack with all of these these were again so so cheap they were less than a dollar um and you get one two three four five bracelets so you get this gold beaded one that says era's tour the little star in the center there we go and then you get this striped blue and white one with the little gold beads by the way these came in a bunch of colors the blue was the cheapest which is why i got the blue um but they had pink they had i actually got the purple ones for cala but those were like 250 whereas these were under a dollar um and then this one's like white with the three gold beads in the center this one's really cute it says 1989 let me see if i can fix it by the way these are the little beads i've been referring to this whole video but 1989 and then blue stripes and stuff and then the last one this one says swifty and again like blue and white stripes these are so flipping cute i like it's like it was less than a dollar and every girl's gonna go home with like a little stack of bracelets i just think that's so flipping cute bracelets and sunglasses and the little bag and then i also got them each a little um keychain these came in a pack of 12 so they came like this and I have they're totally squashed but they're okay <laughs> um, but they came up at a pack of 12 and they're just little keychains and then they also came with these little like gift goodie bags so I'm gonna save these because actually I guess I could put the bracelets in them probably do that I'll probably take the bracelets out of like the plastic baggies and put them in these cute little like organza bags and then the keychains are super simple it's just like a little I keep saying disco ball. Technically, this is a mirror ball, not a disco ball, but we all call it that. It's just a little keychain. Um, those were, I want to say $3 for all 12. I'm going to show the Calla's Cal purple bracelets. They're the exact same design as the other ones, but they do have the purple coloring on them. And then the pink ones were also really, really cute. And I think they had other colors too. Like I feel like they had orange and red and all kinds of colors. Okay, and then the last thing that each girl's going to get is a few Taylor Swift stickers. So... I'm going to let Kala kind of divide these out, but they kind of vary. Um, speak now. I can't tell what any of these are upside down. I think that one also says, I think these are all themed to speak now because I like the purple coloring because purple is Kala's favorite color. Foolish one with a little gravestone. This one's actually got Taylor on it. A record. 
little book. Like they vary, but they all have to do with either her albums or her lyrics or her songs. We're gonna divide these up and then give each girl like a few stickers. Okay, that is everything for this Temu haul of a Taylor Swift party. <laughs> um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you do enjoy this kind of thing, I actually did a similar video for Kala last year because we did a Harry Potter themed birthday last year and um, I got pretty much everything off of Temu and it was all very, very high quality and fantastic. And the same stuff that's on Amazon, you guys, like it is the same stuff. It is the same stuff. It's like if you are going to order ahead of time and you've got time for it to get to you, check Temu, okay? Just check it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will link my other Temu videos in case you guys are curious or just want to see like what my experience has been because I will tell you guys I'm not affiliated with them in any way and the one thing I've noticed is like the packaging is not the same for people, for the little people, okay? <laughs> like the people who are partnered with them, their packages seem to come in just a little bit nicer, but I have yet to have anything come in broken, knock on wood. Uh, <laughs> other than that, I really haven't noticed anything different as far as quality. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you did make it all the way through to the end of this video, then please leave me a mirror ball emoji because then I will know that you made it all the way through. Thank you guys so much for watching. I say that so many times, but it's because like genuinely, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.